Hey guys, Mojo here. This is the first AM Spotlight. Sorry it's actually taking me a while to get this project going, but I have been quite busy, and I have a lot of free time that's opened up, so I'm going to be able to do about one or two of these a week, so make sure you send me your gameplay via Twitter, Facebook, PM me it, post in the open thread, just make sure I see it, and I'll make sure I put it in my random hat of sorting, majigger, selection, Gryffindor hat. I don't know what to call it yet, but make sure you send me the gameplay. It doesn't matter if you've placed top 16, or if you've gotten third round every event you've been to. Just make sure you send me that gameplay. Also, I'm going to be trying to get some pros to come in and do some commentary with me. And anyone in the amateur community who feels like they can do commentary, make sure you message me and I will message you back. Hopefully we can get something going. If you have any ideas, hit me up. Always looking to improve on stuff. But I'm not going to go over the gameplay for 13 minutes. It's quite boring to watch Fraggle play for 13 minutes. I don't know anyone that can watch Fraggle play for 13 minutes. So I'm just going to break down the big flag runs, important things, his positioning, you know, stuff people always want to improve on. Not when you're running bonfire with snipe when they're running the flag rocks. This is this is not what you want to do. This is, that is not good play by Fraggle. <laughs> but I'm going to break down, you know, who's playing with good strats, but this is just a regular matchmaking game, so nothing you're really going to see at a team-wise, but he's playing with his typical friends, so it's they have a few ideas of what they're doing. Uh, he just got sniped through a wall, which is just beautiful. <laughs> he's playing with Gilbert Munoz, uh, No Mercy, and Ulrich, who are known for being online gods, and they're going up against Faint, Robbie V, Schaefer, and Gabriel. So it's a pretty good matchup of players, so it's not going to be a blow through like cash crops, 106 so game battle style, it's going to be a good match. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to when their first flag run happens. Here's the team's first attempt at running the flag. Frag is able to clean up two people in rocks very easily, leaving the lane open for Ola to run at rocks. They all focus on courtyard, Frag makes a mistake, I'm missing every shot on Schaefer and getting absolutely wrecked. Ulrich makes up for his mistake and destroys him. Ulrich is able to get it over Car, which means Fraga needs to be able to push towards Courtyard to contain them so they do not kill Ulrich. So he makes a call on Robbie B. He contains Robbie B as No Mercy comes up cleans him over the rock is. He pushes Ring 2 so they can keep their map control. See Schaefer, it kills Schaefer, and after he knows he kills Schaefer, to push, hold forward as long as he can to their spawn, contain them. He gets all those shots on Robbie B, and then before you know it, his whole team's there, and they have map control again. During this flag run, Fraggy is the main reason why they're able to capture it. Fraggy destroys Fane on Rock, and then makes sure that no one is pushing underneath turret. Then he focuses on Rocks again, peels Robbie B at Rocks. And then watch the other kid get blasted at car. He knows that they're going to be spawning around him, and lo and behold, here comes Faint looking for the snipe and just gets wrecked. Clueless Faint. They capture the flag in ease, and as Ulrich tries to pull the next flag, he sees Schaefer coming up from behind, puts some shots on Schaefer. Cleans up Schaefer very easily, but as Ulrich dies, the flag run becomes pretty much dead, and ends right there. Here's a few players that I feel if Frag had played a little different, they would maybe not have capped the flag. Here he throws a terrible grenade at Jump Up, and then proceeds to get rocketed. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, I feel like if he had pushed through and got behind, he might have been able to do some damage, or even if he went Jump Up, he could have done some more damage there too, but he just was pretty much useless there. Then goes to a rock, hides behind it like a turtle, like no one's going to see him. Then throws a grenade like he's playing for the Colts, and just gets obliterated. Pretty much useless. And then Ulrich is over there in courtyard surviving. I don't know what he's doing over there. It's just a champ and a half. They proceed to capture the flag. And then they start going for a second flag. Here it seems like he has no clue that they're running for it. Completely clueless. There's a nade. I think he might have done some damage to him. Proceeds to focus on him too much as he should have known that the other team was pushing and gets obliterated from people at bonfire. Lucky for him that his team was able to keep them at bay keep shots on him and he gets a very lucky spawning here when he spawns snipe and is able to clean up faint. This is the last flag cap of the game. Frag spawns and starts pushing towards the new snipe to help his team run the flag. Here's a call out mid. Goes and helps the mercy clean him up. Then goes to help out Munos running the flag. Peels faint. He's been destroying faint all game but giving him the rusty nail. 
Misses a snipe. Makes up for it though by killing Robbie B. Sees that they're pushing court, so he starts to fall back to help him there. Make sure that no one's spawning behind him and rocks. Gets a nice snipe. Gets an assist, and that ends the game. Hey guys, thanks for watching the first episode of the AM Spotlight. Here's an overview of a few things about the game and the player. In H3, Fraga wasn't known for placing, placing 3rd and 4th round, but in Halo Reach, he's went on to Dallas, placing 7th round. In Columbus, when he teamed with Hybrid, Revamp, and Bad Kid, he placed 16th as Team Shacked Out. In Orlando, when he teamed with Decliner, Prawn, and Viper, he got 21st. A few things about the game, he had 30 kills, 21 deaths, plus 9 KD and 8 assists. In a pretty good game all around. Some of the key moments I felt in the game, he was very good at positioning himself whenever his team was running the flag. For instance, when he was at Sniper, when Ulrich was running the flag rocks, he was able to position himself very well. He also helped his teammates whenever call-outs are made, which was pretty noticeable. He was always there to put shots on them. He was always staying alive, which was a huge problem to the other team. When you have someone in your back shooting you every time, it's really annoying. But there's also at some points he seemed very clueless on what was going on on the map. Might have just been poor communication or he had no clue what was going on. Might have been doing something else. But it's always something a player can improve on. Speaking of improvement, I know I need to improve on the show probably. So if you have any ideas, please message me, tweet me, do something. Because I want to make this look really good so then we can have always have someone every week in the AM Spotlight. Because... It's not a lot of content coming from the AM community besides some streams, and those aren't really being seen. So make sure you message me. Also, if you have any ideas to do, maybe if you want to do commentary with me, or if any pros want to do comment, just message me. I would always like to have someone on once in a while. But make sure you make sure you send your gameplay to me via Twitter, Facebook, PM me, and post it. Just make sure I see it. Put it in the hat of I have no clue yet, still with the name it. And yeah, well, thanks for watching. I uh, will be back next week. And I love you, and I don't know what I'm watching on TV.